Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to The Casual Puzzler. Sorry I'm a little late this month, but we are doing my monthly roundup. If you're new to this series, every month I share all the puzzles that I did in the previous month, little mini reviews, if there are any dedicated videos on them. If you are following me on Instagram, you should have seen all of these puzzles already. If you're not following me on Instagram, I definitely recommend going over there because even though I haven't been as active here on YouTube, I have been active there doing reels and such. So I've been having a lot of fun over there. But I am excited to get back into the swing of things with my YouTube channel. It's been put on the back burner as we've been in temporary housing. It's been really difficult to film here. It's noisy. It's busy outside. Also, we've just had a lot of things going on. We did officially purchase this house. You will be seeing a empty house tour soon. And I am so excited. We're only in this temporary space for about a week until our stuff arrives and it's just been it's just been wild over here. But I'm excited to share all the puzzles that I did in March. It's funny to look back at it because I kept saying that I was in a puzzle rut in March and there was actually probably like a good 10 to 12 days where I didn't puzzle at all and I had no desire to puzzle. But for some reason, I also did the most amount of pieces and puzzles in the month of March. So I did 13 puzzles, close to 8,500 pieces. I think it's 8,490 pieces in the month of March, which I am considering a win. There are two here that I'll start off with that I don't have on hand anymore. I did ship them off to my sister, who is really into puzzles. If you are on the Facebook group, you guys have seen her quite a bit in there. She's been having a ton of fun with Puzzle Bingo and I just love how pretty much my whole entire family is puzzling now. So I did give two puzzles to her. The first one was from Puzzledy, which is Best Buds. It was a circular puzzle, super fun, very bright and colorful, pretty easy. I don't think I would ever buy Puzzledy first hand or new because they are kind of crumbly, pretty shiny, not my favorite brand as far as quality, but the images are super fun and I had a great time doing it. So. I liked it. I would give it like three stars as far as the quality goes, but it was fun and I know that she is loving it already. And then the second one that I gave to her was from African American Expressions and that one was called Jazz Masks. I loved that one. It was so bright, so colorful, had great quality, had no issues with it. I will say the only critique is that they're on the bit too shiny side, but honestly it was just a fun evening and I highly recommend that one. That was a, that was a good one, nice and fun. Now let's move into the puzzles that I have on hand. I do have pictures, if not video, of all the ones that I did. And this one is by Ravensburger. And I was originally going to do a video about these puzzles where it was the same image concept, but they were different techniques. And so the image concept was vases with flowers. And so I had this one, which was a photograph by Ravensburger. And this one is called Beautiful Dahlias. And it is really fun. I actually like this one more than I was expecting. I'm just not a huge fan of photograph puzzles just because I hate when things are out of focus, which is why I love doing things that are illustrated because those are all in focus. This one was a bit trickier. Um, the flowers and such were in focus, but all the background wasn't. But it wasn't too difficult. It wasn't the worst one that I've done as a photograph image. I really enjoyed this. Now, I'm not going to make that video because the last one that I had to do was the thousand piece one and I was just like not wanting to do it. So maybe in the future once I get the the courage to do that thousand piece one but I just want to show you the one that I did do and it was super fun. My mom gifted this to me. She had done it. She enjoyed it. I just loved it. It was very springy and it was definitely something that I was liking. While we're talking about that video concept, I do also have one from Casterland. This is called Flowers in a Vase and it was beautiful. I loved the final image. It is a very crumbly puzzle. I've noticed that with the other Casterland one that I did that this just you can pick up like maybe two pieces together. I didn't have any false fits if I remember correctly. I don't think I did. And I was expecting this side to be really tricky and it wasn't. I will say as far as the image though, when you're doing it, it is cut off quite a bit. So you're really not doing the full image that you see here. I feel like it's cut off by at least like a half inch all around the border. So I didn't mind it. It was super fun. This one is more like illustration, but almost as if it was done with like, not paint, but if it was done with colored pencil. And I really enjoyed this one. It was super easy, really beautiful. Um, quality wasn't my favorite, but it was a fun image to do. So I will maybe do them again in the future, but I don't think I would ever do a larger piece count from them just because they are on the crumbly side. Moving on to a puzzle I 
loved. It was so much fun. This is by Pin2 and it is the 2000 piece puzzle called Tarot Town. I loved this one. It is in two sections and I did show you on Instagram how I put it all together. Um, so the first half, loved it. Loved the hot air balloons, loved how bright and colorful it was. Absolutely <laughs> enjoyed this one. If you're new to Pintu as a brand, they are plastic pieces. I have a whole dedicated video on them. I'll link down below. The second half, I was expecting to be extremely tricky, which is more nature, you know? I hope you can see it. Not as distinct colors, not the fun patterns, but I still really enjoyed it. I'm excited to see it in a frame once we get into our house and I can just put all of these Pinty ones on the walls. That is my plan with these is to just have like a rotating picture behind me when I'm doing some of my videos and it was just super fun. I love this image a lot. So I'm happy with that one and honestly can't go wrong with the image quality with Pintu. They are beautiful. And then I did also do part of my 4,000 piece puzzle, which is the 160 cats. This is the box. I'll put the image that I did on the screen. I only have one section left and then I'll be done with the full 4,000 pieces. And I will say it's been super fun just filling them up as their sections. So I just been breaking them apart and keeping them together so that way at the end I can see what it looks like all put together. Um, there is another YouTuber who is doing this one as well. She's already finished her. She did it where she combined all the pieces instead of doing the 4,000 piece section. So I'll link her videos down below. I forget the name of the channel. I don't want to butcher it. So I'll link it down below in case you want to see her. She did a ton of shorts. She just posted her full video of her doing the puzzle. So I'm excited. I haven't seen it yet just because I've been trying to finish my own. But if you want to see what it looks like already, it's available. But anyways, I'm excited to do the last piece and then I will be framing it. And that should be a really fun video once we get again into the house. And while we're on pin two, last one. And just so you are aware, the 160 cats puzzle they gifted to me, but the 2000 piece and this one I did purchase because I absolutely love their stuff. And I actually had owned their stuff before working with them. Um, so this one here, I actually got because I was influenced by Instagram. I saw it on their Instagram, I love the image. And I loved this one framed specifically. And I don't have any other 500 pieces I don't think of theirs. I don't remember, but it's a smaller piece count. So I thought like having a variety of different sizes would be nice on a wall. Um, this one is by Van Gogh and it is called, this one is called Wheat Field with Cypress. And I thought this was actually going to be really challenging because look at the sky. There's like so much texture there and there's only a few different colors, but it actually was pretty easy. I loved doing this whole section and I want to say it took me maybe two hours to do. Really fun. I love this one and I will definitely get more from them. I already have a huge amount on my wish list and so you will be seeing them again in more future videos. Um, moving on to the next puzzle, which is Schmidt's Seasons. I love this one so much. This one was on my wish list for ages. Finally did it this month and absolutely loved it. I love doing sky, loved all of it. I maybe took me like an hour and a half to do really simple and easy. Oh my gosh, like I was expecting even this section to be a little bit trickier because it's similar, you know, but it wasn't. Um, you can tell which side is which, especially with the trees and then there wasn't too much sky to work around but I loved it so much. Like I could see me redoing this one. I feel like this would be a great one to have in like a cabin or going on vacation, like something cozy where we could do this one again. Cause I, I loved it so much. I have done, I think two Schmidt. Is this the second one of Schmidt or the third one of Schmidt? I've been loving their stuff. Very similar to Ravensburger, but without the puzzle dust, which I really enjoy. Next we have a little set, which I feel like it's been ages since I've done this, but I can't believe it. I actually did it at the beginning of March. This is the Seven Days of Mindfulness by Gallison. Quality was crap. <laughs> um, it was really, it was really shiny. It had the paper backing. You could, every single piece fit together. It didn't no matter. It didn't matter which puzzle piece you put together. All seven sections were together in one single bag. Um, so that was fun to sort out. It was pretty easy because the backs of them are different colors. And then in the box, I don't know if it's all messed up. Yeah, it is. Um, but there was a little divider that you could like separate them for the seven days. But I'm just like, if you're going to make it seven days of mindfulness, make it a little bit easier. Maybe bag them up individually for the seven days. I don't know. It just wasn't my favorite. It was fun to pick together, but each section has the same exact grid. And I did actually do a reel when I was like combining all of them. 
it was it was fun i don't think i would do it again but um it was a cute little thing next i have the ravensburger what's this one called manatee moments and this one was super cute but i do have some gripes with this one so super bright very colorful but it wasn't as bright and colorful but i will say the puzzle wasn't as bright and colorful as you see here on the box in person it was pr pretty dull it was very grainy like pixelated as if the printer was running out of ink and it was just really, such a bummer because if you see like this is like really bright blue that did not exist in the version that i got um the pink flamingos weren't very pink so i feel like it was like running out of ink as far that's a, the only way i can describe it again very pixelated wasn't my favorite but it was a cute image in the end uh as far as puzzle quality goes besides the print I want to say it was a little bit on the crumbler side for Ravensburger, so I just feel like I got a lemon. This was just not the best one from them, but it was fun. It was cute. I paid, I think, $17 at the local place near me, and I liked it, but I don't know. I think that one just had some, some issues. And then, oh my gosh. If you want to know the worst puzzle that I did this month, I don't think I took a picture of it. I didn't take a video of it. I was just so done when I finished it that I just, like, I was ready to like throw it away. So this is from the brand MI Puzzles. Had never done them. I hated this puzzle so much. Um, the bird, super fun, crumbly. You can maybe pick up two pieces at a time. Like it had serious fit issues. Everything fit together. Everything was blurry. Um, this whole section, hot mess. Like I was like ready to give up on this multiple times absolutely hated everything about this puzzle so super shiny tons of puzzle dust like everything that i hate in a puzzle was with this puzzle lots of pieces were bent lots of issues with quality would never buy again for them and i almost feel like they are the same brand as suns out i don't know it just was not my favorite thing and i hated it so much um so there's this one i do not recommend that puzzle brand um we have three left this one I loved, I loved it so much. This is from Plum and Tony. This is my Portland headlight puzzle. I did a whole video on it. I loved it so much. It was on the crumbly side, yes. There was a few false bits, okay. But as far as everything else, I loved it. It was super bright, very colorful. Loved doing the sky, loved doing the water. And it, this is the puzzle that got me out of my puzzle funk, just cause it's nostalgic. This is where me and Dave went on our first date. And well, I do a ton more from this brand, Probably not, just because it was definitely on the crumbly side. And I have a 6,000 piece one from them, and I'm honestly really nervous about doing it because it's all 6,000 pieces together. And with the fit issues that I noticed on this one, I'm really nervous. But a lot of you said you had good experiences with them. A lot of you had similar experiences as me, so I think it's kind of like a hit or miss situation. Hopefully my 6,000 piece one doesn't have fit issues, but I like this one a lot, and I would probably do it again. Again, this is another one I could see like, Bring on vacation, having in a cozy cabin, just because it's very relaxing. And then I do have this other Ravensburger puzzle. I love this one so much. Um, this one is called, this one is called Floral Reflections and super easy. It is a rainbow puzzle, but it's distinct sections and flowers. Loves both sections, both the flowers and the reflection section. I just really enjoyed this. It was super fun, very quick and easy. Had a good time and it was just maybe an hour and a half long of hustling but can't really go wrong with that one i did do a whole video on this one here by talking tables lots of interesting information in the comments about this brand because the european version is completely different than the one i got here um theirs is does not have a paper backing they have great ish they had great great they had great quality um so I don't know why this one was so much different than theirs. I'm curious to try to find a talking tables puzzle in the UK or European to get sent to me, see if there is a true difference because this is not the best of quality. This one was also on the pricier end for a 500 piece. It just is a brand that I'm not curious of buying more of, at least the ones in the US. Maybe I'll try to get another one. Let me know if your thoughts, should I get, try to find another one in a different country and see if they have similar things because even when you're looking on the website they do mention that they had a different manufacturer so i'm wondering if we have a different manufacturer than those in the uk or in european countries i don't know i don't know it was a super cute image though i don't mind it it was just 
Everything was twos, was my favorite. Oh, that was the other thing people mentioned, that they had different piece shapes. This one was all twos. I don't know. I have mixed feelings about that one. And then I do have two things I wanted to mention here because uh, they are not puzzles, but I thought maybe you'd be into it, which are board games. Dave and I are huge gamers, and one of the things we want in our new place is for the puzzle room to also have like gaming options. And so I do have two new games here that we got recently. We've played and we've been really enjoying, so I thought I would share them. Um, the first one is called The Red Dragon Inn number two. They have, I think, five or six different editions. We have the second edition that didn't have the first one at the store. Um, but it's super fun. It is a card game and it's kind of like you're at a bar in like Dungeons and Dragons and you each have your own character and you each have, depending on your character, has different skill sets and you are trying to not pass out drunk in the game. I can see this being a fun drinking game like actual drinking game um, but it was we played it a couple times I can see it being really fun with like a huge group of people uh, I liked it and apparently you can like combine other additions to the one that you have to just make it like a bigger game with more characters but since it's just the two of us we have this one and we've been enjoying it we've done it a I want to say we've played at least five different games different characters so we've been enjoying it um, in case you need a new game and then we also have this one which is super fun. Uh, so this is called Forbidden Sky, Height of Danger. They also have for uh, Desert Island, and then another one, I wanna say there's like three or four different versions. This one is if you are, apparently the backstory is that you are in space and you have to land on this platform, but the platform is kinda like blow up or something like that, like there's a storm happening, and you have to work together, so it's a collaborative type of game where you have to work together to get to the rocket ship and get the rocket ship to light up to blast off. And it's one of those games like you either win together or you lose together. Because if you aren't all on the rocket ship, then you lose. If you lose a team member off the side of the, the platform, then you lose. Um, we haven't lost yet. We've only played it on easy though. You can do it up to extreme. And it's been super fun. It also has like electronic components. So at the very end, once you've done all the things you need to do to get it to the rocket to work, the rocket actually does like this little like moment and it's super fun. Really loved it. I also feel like this would be a fun one to do with more than just two people. I think you can play it with up to five people and I'm re we are really interested in getting other versions of this one. Um, so it was, it was a good one. I really liked this one a lot. Um, anyways, that is it for me today. I feel like I've been talking for ages. Uh, thank you so much for tuning into this video. Again, if there's any videos associated with any of these puzzles, I'll link them down below. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram because you'll see more of these puzzles up and close. And yeah, that's it for me. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!